Hi friends, my name is Muhammad Sadi Khan. Welcome to Easy Bill System. It is very powerful and handy software. Basically, this is Excel based video trip gem. It has a powerful features. It creates a stock report, sales report, and transaction report. It has foolproof features and many other features. So let's have a look to Easy Billing System. Welcome to Easy Billing System. This program is made in the, developed in VBA Macro. It's a very powerful program. Through this program, you can create invoice. You can uh, uh, check the stock report, sales report, transaction report. You can modify the invoice and you can do the stock entry. So first of all, I will show you how this program works, how this uh, uh, VBA utility works for the billing system. First of all, I will show you how to create new invoice. For that, I just click the new invoice on the welcome page. I just click uh, the new invoice. Now, this is the invoice page. Here, this uh, this is space for the product code. Now I'm just inserting some product code 1001. So see, you will have the product name. I just input one the quantity. Let's say three. Now I come to another product. I will fill. I fill this 1002 and the quantity is 5 and you can see the bottom the grand total discount net payable all is automatically generated and the beauty of this program if you want to delete this thing or type some another thing see this automatically restore the original value if someone want to change the unit price see automatically it will uh, come in the previous state similarly this so one cannot change these values only you can change the quantity the operator can change the quantity and can modify the product code i will take another product to 100 so this is the dummy products actually for the demo purpose this product range starts from uh, 1001 to 2400 around 2300 so you can use this to check the this program now this one so see this total grand total is uh, 1680.50 now if you want to allow some discount you can give the discount as well 1.5 percent i just uh, allowing discount for 1.5 so the total is here net payable amount is this after entering all the products you will just you need to press the transaction this transact key the button i just press the transaction it will say do you want to continue if you say yes or if you say no let's say I say no so it will uh, it doesn't do anything meanwhile if you press the print invoice if you print uh, press the print invoice before the transaction could not print pending for invoicing this is for the foolproof check otherwise if you click this so it will uh, print it. it will print without transaction so this is not uh, good practice so uh, first you have to press anyhow the transaction this transaction key again it will ask do you want to continue I just press yes so it will say cash received from the customer the total amount is 1662.19 I just press I just insert 1700 1700 I received from the customer 
then I press OK so see you will have this uh, watermark on the invoice cash received and uh, this uh, grand total discount net payable amount cash received and change you have to uh, pay back this 37.81 and this is the net payable amount and total items 9 this 9 and now you can print the invoice this invoice is freeze now so you if, uh, if you cannot do the transaction again on this uh, invoice See, if you press if you want to transaction again and if you say do you want to continue already invoiced so this is again foolproof system and this date is a uh, current system date you can change the date before transaction uh, now you can print the invoice and you can print the invoice by pressing yes it will print the invoice in the A4 size I will show you how it looks like this is the print invoice format in the A4 size see all item customer invoice number and all product detail with grand total and all this uh, discount net payable so this is the layout of the invoice now I will show you another reports just press home key now I will show you the stock report just press the stock report this is the stock report uh, sheet stock report uh, you can run report through various filters here I will show you suppose you want to check the items less than equal to 90 so you will have the listing of the stock those are having less than 90 items further you can just uh, filter your uh, report let's say I just say cortex and less than equal to 90 so you will have the and operation of this and this and this is the output of the report if I remove the 90 and I just fill cortex so all the cortex items will come here so this is the report how it works suppose I don't uh, use any filter so it give the entire entire the stock report uh, inventory report So this is how gen, uh, this stock report works. Now I will show you another report. This is sales report. You just press the sales report. It will fetch the sales report. This is all the filters of the sales. You can check the sales through various uh, filters. Here you can check the date range. Suppose you want to check the sales within a specific dates. Let's say 19 June to this uh, 25th June, up to 25th June. It will show you the sales during this period see this is the grand net payable amount during this uh, period grand total total discount through this period and this is the plus profit so this is the profit uh, during this period you can further uh, use the filter let's say you want to check the suppose you want to check the total amount uh, or the cost combination suppose 14,000 
to less than equal to 14,000 it will give you the all report if I just press the 1000 the total amount less than equal to uh, 1000 uh, and this date the during this period so you will see this the amount range is this this is the combination of the filters now I remove the filter this so this will give you the again the old result I just remove the dates now you can check the less than equal to uh, this date also so it will give the all transaction with the profit and loss less than equal to 25th June 2015 you can check uh, the invoice also 10010 suppose you want to check this invoice through the sales it will give you this report only fr from this invoice you earn 2345.77 from this invoice so this is how sales report works this is the report full report of the sales now I will show you another step this is the transaction report now I come to the transaction report just press the transaction report button so this is the transaction report now you are in the transaction report again here same filters invoice customer name product code product name unit price here you can see the interesting thing is that uh, you can see the all flow of items this is the fastest moving item this is the low slowest moving item during this period this is the date range again during this period you can check all total amount total quantity during this period how many items you uh, you sold if I remove these filters and just press the generate report see here 2012 this is the product code cortex leak guard this is 25 so this is the highest uh, this is the fastest moving item you can check here the total order of the items see during this uh, I didn't uh, use any filter so this is the complete transaction so you can check see this all items this 25 items it sold this 25 18 and so on and this is the total amount total amount of the items sold and the total quantity 330 quantity and if you want to check some suppose cream I just choose the cream product and check I want to check the report cream I just this is the fastest growing item fair and tea in fairness cream 25 pieces sold and the total quantity is 98 during this uh, uh, sorry this is a product uh, name cream 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 all cream are having see this all cream 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 so total cream 98 total items having the cream word the product word product name of cream sold 98 and again this is the total the uh, order of the product 25 items 24 and so on this is the uh, slowest moving item you can apply many filters here by quantity unit price many filters you can check by product code invoice number as well quantity so this is the comprehensive report of uh, the transaction report now I will show you how to modify the invoice this is the button I just press the modify invoice this is the invoice 10001 the invoice is deleted suppose 100 and then press search invoice 
there is no invoice such uh, 100 name uh, the invoice number if you want to check three like 10003 see this invoice is active and the grand total of this net payable amount this this is active you can delete this invoice one zero zero one this is already deleted this invoice is already deleted so this invoice will not include here in transaction report if you see the complete report of the transaction see one zero zero one see you don't have any invoice such one zero 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 one number because it is already deleted now if you want to delete 10002 invoice is active this is the total uh, net payable amount if you want to delete this invoice then press you have to press the delete invoice after searching the invoice it will say the prompt will come do you want to really delete the invoice i say yes deletion done successfully so it is deleted now now i just check again try delete it See one zero zero two. I deleted just now. So it, the status is changed. Invoice is deleted. This is all logged item, so you cannot change. See if you want to change, the Excel will prompt. The Excel will give you the alert. So this is how. The small and very powerful easy billing system works. The last part of this uh, easy billing system is uh, stock entry. So I will show you how you do the stock entry. You just click the stock entry. It will ask the password because this is sensitive data. I just press this one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is the stock entry. You can replenish your stock. Like suppose I want to update the stock one zero zero, and this also one zero zero. And you can fix the cost price and selling price of the product also. This is the very sensitive table. So make sure whatever you are doing here. After updating this uh, inventory master, you just press stock entry. This is the product code. Suppose you want to update 1026, you just Select Control A, 1026, and then you can update the, this is stock. This is the selling price. This is the cost price. So this is the way how you update the stock. After updating the stock, you just press stock entry done, and then press save this POS easy billing system so this is the way how easy billing system works